Well, that's the shukla. Now that he can do, that he can do something, and he can continue doing it, is a is a big chiddush. Big chiddush. He came up in the world like this. Like this, he used to he used to uh, he used to take uh, he used to take whoever he was taping, whoever it was on the hip sheets, whoever he was taping. Schneider he didn't take. It's not about that. I mean, if you other people who tape up if it's, you need to have a dish to stay, you get it already. If it's so important to you, you get it. Tape Schneider, who's going to tape Schneider? Not your shimei. But no, your shimei was so involved with other people who were involved, and he couldn't like break away and, and, and see it a little bit objectively. Now, I <laughs> Yeah, what now? What, what's happening now? <laughs> so I, either I can tell a story about myself or I can tell a story about one of my relatives. You tell me. You pick. No. Tell about your father. Uh, There's not to tell about my father because my father was totally Nister. Totally Nister. And even though he had so much to give to the world, he waited for the person to come and ask him, ask him to shine. He, the person has a problem. So it's my father's job. To solve the problem, and maybe he did. I don't know, but a lot of people. Did he say Shurim and Torah I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you were born after. I know. Somebody told me, and I know. Who was it? Where it was? Somewhere here in this uh, this place, maybe. No, it was in Boston. He told me that my father would test them. He said once, the boys came in. Whatever it was, the three, four, five boys came in to be tested, and he said, "Bring a bring a seat." And you don't see what he's talking about. They, all, they were sitting. He meant a sheet. A sheet, a piece of paper. So to, to, write, <laughs> to write. And he couldn't say a shh. So it became a seat. So I know he tested. From that I know that he tested kids. And I know he gave smicha. So he must have also at least participated in the test that Shlomo gave. But... Uh, he my uncle gave... learned in Torah Vidas, Rabbi Chin, he was my bro my mother's brother. He saw a picture of you in a certain place, a picture of Yisrael Schneider. I, I showed him, I had, I had a picture. He said, this is Rabbi hey, Schneider's what place? son. <laughs> so he said, what? He was shocked. This is Rabbi Schneider's son. <laughs> <laughs> He meant that you looked Hasidish, that's what he meant. <laughs> I mean, he said, yeah, there, there were big changes. But the truth is, look at the, look at the paradox. Of all the, of all the children, my father has tons of eniklach and no eniklach. Nobody that I know is interested in, in doing something to carry on the Masoyrit. In the Gunim, in the, the, the Ksavim, trying to find what happened to the Ksavim, the Ksavim, the Ksavim disappeared. The father's. The father Ksavim disappeared, and also from my great grandfather, from the victim. Try to do something! What do you mean? They you say and learn. You have tons. Oh, no, anybody. Else. I'm saying they don't have any, they don't have any feeling of, 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 I'm the only one. The, the rest of us is the only one. Uh, but different things that I did, like the people in the family, they themselves, uh, they were like against it. Uh, like uh, Aluf. Aluf is my grandfather's cousin. Aluf uh, or El. He's, he's, he's uh, secular. That's so he, what, what? Aluf. Aluf. That's his, name. Name. his first name is Aluf. So, so he has, from his father, Binyami, 75 letters. Something like 75 letters that my great grandfather wrote him, right? In other words, Shmuel Avigdi wrote his son, Binyami, 75 letters. So I started translating it. Translated maybe. He gave them to you. He didn't give them. He was sending them one by one. Yeah. Uh, at Sidhu. And I would uh, translate, I, I would write over what the Shmuel Avigdi wrote, and I would 
uh, right over what uh, his wife wrote, uh, or his, do his, his daughter's wrote for his wife. His wife is blind. And uh, translated into Hebrew, I didn't get any positive feedback. From my brother, I felt that he didn't, he didn't give them even to my sisters. I sent them all to him on his address. I felt he didn't even give them to my sisters. I don't know, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. The kids who. I, I told my sister about this. No, 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 she doesn't know anything about it. <laughs> so, it's so what's it going to be? Wait, about the letters, what you're telling me with your brother. Could be, I would say there's different drachim on the Kshem Shem parts of Fem Shavit. I'm not angry with him. I'm not angry with him. I have no time this. It's just that I didn't get I didn't get uh, help. Mm -hmm. Not only didn't I give it help, but but, but I cared. So, so I stopped at a certain point. And the truth is I wanna I have, I have a big cheshi to continue. But I don't know if I'll do it. See, I know I know somebody that his name is Aram Monchai Fry from in fact, it's in your schus that I know him. You know what? You remember? I don't remember exactly. I know. Yes. I'm a person who makes sure. Sure. I tried to make you a cash with, 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 with what's his name? Uh, I just, I, just, uh, I tried to make a cash, but I don't always. It doesn't always work. So that one was Nixha Big Adol. But this one was Matzliach Big Adol. It was downstairs here. And uh, I used to, after the mikveh, I used to come and sit in the shul here with you, oh. Friday afternoon. He was here, he was here sitting here on, on, our, on our Friday afternoon. But you said here, meet the Romarcha. And the rest is history. Okay, I don't remember who introduced me to him, because he was, uh, he I was said, I remember. Be, he was in Harno for a year. So, now to Adayim I go to eat by him on Shabbos, uh, like around once a month. Yishomer, from that, that brought to Yishomer, ate by him four years, he ate turkey in his ass four years. And, um, uh, what did I want to say? So, so he told me, his father had a huge, huge library. When I brought Martin, I came to Eretz Yisrael, he sold the library to Prophet Yitzvah. And he said, why did he do it? I guess one reason is because he needed money. But besides that, he says, I don't want to have to do with the past. I want to break away from the past. And he, he felt he needed that. My, my brother was not like that. My brother, my brother was, he didn't have his own life. He wasn't married before. Never, uh, he never got married. So he, is he still he, around? No, he, he passed away from Gimel Sivan, Tavshin Sami. Yes. Anyways, so uh, so talk about the Svarim. So they gave, they, they took the Svarim. It all belongs to me. It all belongs to me. I'm the Irish. I'm the Irish Yochid. They took the Svarim and they, and they, and they, they're fighting now about who, who, who should do the work. So it's just sitting there in my... Sister Soleil in her in her, her, uh, in her cellar. Where did she these things, these things are so, are so frustrating. But then yeah. she's in Chicago. Mm. I don't take it seriously. When am I going to start banging my head against the wall because it's far, because of this, because of that? But they sent me one safer. They sent <laughs> like Mirage. They sent me a miiri on the Sechas which was stuck to something that I learned a little bit when I was in my father's house. I think I learned from that safer. But it's like, <laughs> all this one belonged to me. <laughs> one book, Tima Baalma. It's mutter on our tiniest to do a team. What? On our tiniest, it's mutter to be time. Right. No, that's it. I'm a in the tiniest. In the for everything that has to do with my father's Yerusha, what belonged to my father. What, uh, if I had a stick, where's the stick? My father for years walked with a stick because he was run over by a car. He had a big, 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 big accident. And, uh, and uh, they fixed his foot. 
They didn't fix his ride, so they had to break it again. And he thought he was going to get some money out of it because the guy went against the light. The guy ran him over on the red light. But they had that, they had that this false witnesses. He didn't get anything out of it. Anyways, this this Oila Mumuloya of Zechroine Savignani that either just got thrown out, believe Ian Ralph, uh, because my sister didn't want to, my sister, my youngest sister, Zissi, who lives in New York, she didn't want to bring anything into her house. Judenrein. Her house has to be clean of, any, of all the, uh, of the objects that belong to her father and mother. You know what he's saying? He's saying like a Roman. What's the say? Yeah, okay. Okay, we say it. But the view was, she threw out everything so quickly, who knows what she threw out of her. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not coming with Tanya. Whatever it is, it's a it's a it's a it's a tragedy. Whatever you want to call it, I don't know if there'll ever be a zeicher in this world of Rabbi Yitzchok Meir Schneider. You know, they write books about his kufa and they never mention him. There's ten books about his kufa. Not, he's not mentioned at all. The only zeicher that mentions him is Shlucha Rachmana about the uh, Shlaga Fiber. Not making of a gadol. What? Make Making of a God, also, I know, I didn't think of that, but you're right, in, in English, right, Making of a God, he mentions my father. He says, that he asked my father, how could it be that the uh, Panevich of Rav became Rav and Panevich? He was a young, he was a young Abech Sahakov, Shlom Yosef Kahneman. So my father told him that uh, Rav Kahneman saved a lot of Abrechim from the army in World War One. And some of them ended up in in, in front of vision. They elected. <laughs> they did as a course of they did this to to they did tamula to elect the front of vision. And he says, uh, it doesn't come to us again. In another volume I'll tell more about it. <laughs> Where's, the Where's the other volume? I'm told the Bachas Day, Nasan Kamenetsky. Maybe you should call him up. My father, my mother Your called son him. son lives here. My mother, my mother called him up. My mother called him up. She said to him, why don't you mention my father in, uh, why do you mention my husband in, uh, in your book? In the book that, you know, the original book that, uh, that he could have. What's his name? Nice. John de Rosenblum. Why don't you, why don't you mention, uh, why wasn't my husband mentioned? So he said, your husband was blank, and I want to say what he said, something very nasty. As I did not. So, you can't straighten out this world. It is what it is. So, maybe this guy was straightening out the witch that uh, made all these problems for uh, my wife. They came alive. <laughs>